Hey YouTube, uh, Eric, and I'm going to be doing a review on Human Alliance Jazz. Uh, this guy's probably one of my, he probably, well, not probably, he is my favorite uh, Human Alliance figure so far. Um, this is Jazz, and uh, this is, uh, I can't remember this guy's name, Linux or whatever, some some stuff, whatever his name is, um, one of the human soldiers. He could ride on uh, the bike, which does not transform into a robot, which I'm sure most people know. But uh, I'm not really a fan of the humans from the Human Alliance figure. Um, yeah, he's, I mean, he's a shitty, a pretty shitty uh, mold or whatever for the human. Uh, he's blonde, and the light is not showing well. It's not, you know, it's too bright, I guess. But he's blonde instead of being a, a brunette, I guess is what he is. So, yeah, but, you know, who cares about that? Um, this is Jazz, though. Here's the main figure. Um... Has some nice weaponry. I mean, this is really the only weapon that he has on him. Um, he has a gimmick to where the back of his head has a button. That little button right there. You push this button and... Yep. You can now see his face, which is... Uh, he's pretty ugly, but... I, I guess because he's an alien, you know, whatever. But he he's really, really ugly. So, I kind of leave the uh, face mask on him. Uh... And this is a really, really well thought out robot. And the transformation is really cool. And you can always tell if I really like a transformation because I'll go from robot to vehicle mode. And it's really not hard at all. I haven't transformed him in a couple of days since I got him. But, I mean, it's really, it really isn't hard at all. Um, this is his bike. The bike that comes with him. Which is a, you know, pretty cool little bike. Better than the ones that transform into robots. Uh, it can kind of go like that. All right, you pull those out, flip this up all the way like that, then bring it back down, pull this tab out. It sounds like somebody just got in an accident outside my apartment. All right, and put the little missile in. And before I could not figure out how to, out how to get this missile out, well, you push this little button right there, and uh, pops out. Uh, Linux can still sit on the bike while. Uh, you know, it's, it's in weapon mode, but in order, in order to get this uh, this mode onto a uh, onto Jazz, you want to take his hand and you fold it back in here. And there's a peg on the bike that plugs right there. And fold it up a little bit, and you know now he has a a, a pretty big gun weapon uh, made from the bike, which I mean it looks good. Um, not not great, but it's a really good use for the bike. It's better than having uh, the bike transform into a crappy robot. I mean, I'd rather turn into a decent weapon than a crappy robot. So, you know, this is a pretty good idea. Oops, pretty good idea to do uh, to do that with the weapon. Uh, also, Linux can sit down on his foot. Uh, you take this out, and he sits down uh, on his foot. I don't know what he'd do. I mean, unless he kicks him off, I, I don't know. That that you know doesn't make too much sense. Uh, this part though, it makes a little bit more sense. Jazz can uh, have Linux sit right here and control that gun, which uh, you know I, I don't understand why the robots need the humans to use their own weapons. Seems kind of dumb. Um, so yeah, overall. Uh, that's basically uh that's basically his robot mode and, and it is a good it is a good mode uh just to compare him with like another human alliance figure here he is with uh with bumblebee and uh despite the fact that jazz's car mode is not nearly as long as uh as bumblebee's they're about the same height i mean bumblebee might be a little bit bigger but when you see how small jazz's car mode is it's uh you know, it's really amazing how they got him to be an average height, you know, for a Human Alliance figure. So before I run out of time, I'm going to transform him. Uh, and just, you know, just for a quick roundabout view of him. Uh, I like to have this piece right here. The instructions said to have it on the side. I like it up front here because uh, it just makes him look a His legs don't look as, as skinny. Uh, he does have good articulation. Don't, you know, don't let my lack of talking about that fool you. Um, you know, he really, he has good articulation and, uh, and he really is, he's just an overall good figure. So I'm going to start transforming him. I'm going to put his gun up. All right. Uh, take his head. Put that back. 
and fix these little pieces on the car part. Take this, pull it out, and flip it around to get the front of the car. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with this arm over here. Get rid of that hand. And I think this is a really cool way to store, store the hands. Uh, just get it in there. Oops. No, wait, this is the first time. All right, his hand actually came off. Sorry about that. The pin on this guy's hand actually came out. That was uh, the first time that ever happened to me, so I wanted to check and make sure everything was okay. All right, but it is. Uh, I'm not sure if that's normal, but uh well, it happened to me, so you can say you saw it here first. Um, all right. Uh, you unhook the uh, this piece from that piece, push it in, and I'm waiting for the camera to focus. Flip this around, and so now you have the front of the car. Before it was uh, it was upside down, so now you have the front of the car, and you can kind of stretch it out. Now to get his legs, fold these in, um, pull this out, and since this is the rear of the car, you take this and get it all the way back and turn it to this side oh no wait yeah it goes to this side all right yeah like I said I haven't done this in a while so uh, it's still kind of new to me but it, I, I do like the transformation uh, all right so now you kind of have his his butt together and you kind of close that part up all right now you can kind of see the car mode is kind of coming together kind of what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend his legs right here and bring them back up and push it in. So now we have part of the car here, on the back part of the car, and you're gonna do the same thing, fold this leg in and bring it up, and snap it into place. All right, so now he's uh, starting to come together a little bit more here. All right. Get his arms together, push this part in, and just push it in, and now we're getting the car part. And it looks like a kind of a jumbled mess. Oh, push this down. It looks kind of jumbled and messy right now, but uh, everything flushes out. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm transforming the sloppy, and I'm probably not the greatest transformer person in the world. But it'll be all right. It'll get done. Trust me. All right, you do the same thing on this side with the arm. Turn it this way. Push it in. And come on. There you go. All right. Got a little bit of a push. And there you go. You can kind of see it coming along now. Let's get his doors in. And last thing, you take this back piece and push it down in there. All right. Just kind of give everything a nice little bit of a squeeze and tug to get it all in there. And the uh, problem I have is windows is they don't stay in. Sometimes they pop out every now and then. All right, but there we go. All right, Human Alliance Jazz in his car form, which uh, took a little bit. Uh, his car is pretty small and I'll show it to you. Let me adjust the camera. Alright, he's smaller than the Voyager. So, uh, he's he's actually smaller than this Voyager Sea Spray. So, he, he, he's kind of like a big deluxe, a fat deluxe, but, uh, you know, just a little bit uh, a little bit smaller than a Voyager. Um, his doors do open, and he has the, uh, the inside of the car interior. I mean, the seats aren't that great because they're his feet, but... Um, you know, Linda's considering it, and I don't feel like showing it because I don't like the human parts. Uh, but you do have to pull the doors out before you can open them, and you push it back in to close it. Uh, he does have, I mean, I don't know if I made the transformation look easy or hard. It's not that hard. Um, it's a really satisfying transformation, and it's an overall good figure. Underneath, not that much kibble, but, you know, there is some, but it's not that much. He does roll pretty well he has enough clearance and uh, you can find him at Target uh, that's why I got him 30 bucks but 
I'm wondering if he's going to be as rare as Human Alliance Mud Flap. Even though I've never seen Mud Flap, I had to get one um, online uh, from a pretty cool guy at Cybertron.com. He hooked me up from Canada. But, you know, if you find him in the stores, I'd pick him up immediately because, you know, who knows if he'll be hard to find. So I do recommend this guy. He's really good. And last but not least, peace out, you guys.